looking at something long term uh, that uh, you all are going to help them as far as long term uh, place to stay. You're also asking them whether or not they would like to keep their home or would they like to uh, purchase a home somewhere else. Is that what you're yeah. asking? And are you saying that you all are going to help with it? I think Mr. Dalberry put it, uh, the residents are going to have to make a decision. Now, we're going, we're working with the railroad in the city. We've got a new mayor. Brother Spears is on the council now. He was not on the council seven years ago. We've got uh, people that are working very hard. This administration, in my opinion, is working very hard. The railroad people will all be up here on the 7th of next month at 10 o'clock. Uh, meet with the city folks to try to see what the long-term solution is. In the meantime, the uh, legislative delegation, we're willing to put forth some money to help you all with the immediate problem as far as housing. Uh, we, there's some Katrina trailers if you all want to move into a Katrina trailer. Into a, uh, but as far as us having the money to build back your house, I don't see that. I don't know where that money is. We're talking about substantial money. Now there we got, if the community will come together and everybody will come together, uh, the legislative delegation will do our part to help, but it's going to take a lot of people to solve this problem. And all of us working together in a good spirit uh, can make the most progress. And the city fathers are being very cooperative and very helpful. These are new people that from seven years ago. A new mayor, new council. Uh, council member or Brother Spears over there? Yes, sir, Reverend. Yeah. Yeah. Just for clarification, what is it that you're offering since we're trying to do something immediately? What are you offering these folks today? Well, the, uh, we'll, we'll coordinate it through the Red Cross. The Red Cross is working with paying uh, temporary housing. We're uh, uh, willing to try to bring in some Katrina trailers and set them up in, in uh, some of the campgrounds or uh, set these trailers up that they can live in for three, six months. So you're saying there's nothing that you can do about our home? Nothing at all? All we know uh, to do is, uh, <coughs> I mean, there's just no funding that I know of available to rebuild your house. So if someone was to help and volunteer to rebuild a home, it's, that would be no problem? That would be absolutely wonderful. That's what we've got to have. That's yeah, what I'm, I'm saying, saying that if it was that type we, of person We've got around, people here in that. the crowd that will get, get in there and tear out what the homeowners want torn out, bring it out to the street. The street department will haul it off, they, 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 all of this. Uh, but now, the rebuilding is going to take a community effort. I mean, I understand that, but if there was someone that was to volunteer to come in and just bulldoze these homes down and start from the ground up, that wouldn't be a problem with the city at all? So the city will work all of that kind of stuff out. Uh, and they and if we bulldoze them down or whatever, they, this has yeah. got to be raised about three or four feet. Exactly. Uh, well, I, in elevation. I, I've got one concern here. Is you're saying that there's not funding for some things and what I want to know is, is that the town knew about this for seven years now, and the railroad, and me, I'm, I'm just a renter, okay, and I didn't, I didn't lose a property, but I, like everybody else here, besides their house damage, has lost thousands of dollars in goods. What's going to replace that, considering our the beds, town and the railroad dressers, knew about it? Or do we have to get lawyers to take care of that? Out. We had to throw our dressers out because they're just falling apart. Everything is. But I mean, we've no lost thousands, all, all of us. We can't and someone's responsible, and it's not us. I mean, we lost everything. My, my, my little baby. boy can't even walk in the house because he has asthma. I mean, that hurts my chest. I mean, what do we do about and all that? And the Red Cross tells us that we need to stay out of it, which is good, but how are you going to stay out when everything you got is in? Yeah, you got to take something. Yeah, you got to take something. 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 Pictures of my grandparents. I'll you never get to about temporary housing. Uh, my aunt's been bouncing around from hotel to hotel. I'd like for her to have temporary housing for the uh, the Red Cross, Cross lady is over here. Okay, she, she's she step step fine with hotel to hotel, but can we have some place permanent for her until? And the front desk people can, don't know how long we're supposed to be there. Hotel from hotel to hotel from di different nights. I had talked with Mr. and Ms. Horton about this. We can offer them first month's rent. 
to relocate into a rental home until their home can be repaired. Thank you. Thank and my you. understanding was that they were in the process of looking for another home to move to Thank you. to get out. So uh, yes, and, and anybody else that wants to relocate while their homes are being repaired for a, a better situation than just taking it night to night in a motel, then we can pay first month's rent to move into another home. First I know. Month's rent. Yeah, I had talked with Alexis about this and her mom, and, and I think maybe the problem there is finding a place in the location that they'd like to move to, but it may get to the point that we may have to go places we don't go want places to be. that you don't want to, further out from your home here. And uh, I wish it were simpler that we could just move right up here and find homes for every one of you, but it's, it doesn't work like that. But but Red Cross can do the first month's rent on uh, you relocating. And what else will Red Cross have to offer us afterwards? Will they have anything else to offer us? We can do linens for you. We can work with you on referrals, on trying to get your other needs met. Uh, one month's rent. Well, yes, probably the community and the delegation, I think there will be some additional, that's all she can promise, but I think there will be some additional help. The delegation is willing to, through Red Cross, uh, provide them some more money to uh, give some more assistance. You know, and someone's got to coordinate. But we, we have, uh, we've already established a disaster relief fund at First National Bank. And we have a committee that is going to be made up of folks of the, of the area that will decide how that money gets dispersed, as long as it's put in there. And then we also have some, in, in the case of some of these folks, we have some folks that have houses that said that they will make that available. We need to work out the particulars of that. Uh, again, my biggest concern is we're getting ready to go into the weekend, and I've, I've been told by several of these folks they don't have clean clothes. Uh, again, you can't go into the dwellings and stay there because of the smell and whatnot. So I'm just wondering, if need be, can we make some kind of arrangement? And I, and I, and I hate for them to have to be the hotel type. But can we make some kind of arrangements to get them back into a hotel um, and to get some of the clothes clean so that they can be, you know, they can be clean and healthy? We have food there. If any of you lost prescriptions or you know anything that you lost that we can replace, just come down there. Okay? Y'all can, can come and get clothes. No. We well, they want to. What they would like to do is, since they already have clothes, they would like to get some of that stuff clean, just for, just to get them through at least this weekend into the next week. If we can get that done, then that'll help them tremendously. Then we'll. You know, my church and others are, we, we let them wash clothes and all that kind of stuff, but they need something to get them through this weekend. Okay, Reverend, if we provide some money to that relief fund, can you start the, uh, doing some of that? Uh, are you in charge of that committee? Yes, sir. Okay. Looking at this committee that you're providing, we need to establish here, not that we can't work together, but what we need to establish here is the people that are involved, maybe one or some other preacher or Yeah, because I didn't know half of the information that you're talking about. And, and, and I live right next door to see he's, he, he's here for all of us. We, we need to have someone or, or a group of people that we can go to, you know, you know we need to look at who we need. I'm, I'm being very honest about this because I think that we have money, and fun, we have to know which way it's going. And make sure that the family, and I'm not saying that the families forget, some may need more than enough, but we, we need to look at the committee. That's what I would like to see. I have something I'd like to say. Let, let me answer a question. <laughs> the committee is made up of community from so being contacted uh, Pastor from St. Elizabeth and ask him to, he's going to come down to meet 
give me the name of someone. I'm trying to get in contact with the pastor from your church so we can make sure that we get people from. Now, he lives in Athens, and it may be that a brother would take his place. Okay, that's fine. We need but we, 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 are, we, are, we have already put the word out there. What I did was to make sure that we went ahead and got the town open, and then we have asked the folks to come to meet with us and sit down. I was just telling her a few minutes ago, we need to get all of her information so we can make sure when we do start giving that stuff, that she's on the list, that we find out what she needs, so the committee will know that and then go ahead and take care of that need. But if you simply give us the short term of it, if you simply give us the person that we want to be on the committee, there's room on the committee. I've, I've contacted the mayor's office and others. If you just if you just give me a name of whoever you want on the committee, that's not a problem. Well, if you all work that out, we'll we'll put some funds into the relief effort. But now y'all got to work that internally. Yeah, we will. Will y'all work that out? Yes, sir. All right. uh, we'll commit twenty five hundred dollars to that fund right now, and we'll get a check uh, in that fund today. You can just take it to the bank. To it's already set up. First National Bank here in Scottsdale. And they're, they're going to deposit, nobody's going to bother any of it until the committee gets a chance to sit down and, 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 and uh, decide. They'll get you clothes washed and, <clears throat> and immediate needs and uh, we'll continue to help be helpful. Now, what was your question? Is there an organization that we have people in small businesses now and I got two homes and then I have my business with me so I can't make any money until I can Loss of income is their organization. Yeah. 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 Coming in to help you, uh, assist you cleaning <laughs> up, carrying out, hauling off uh, in the morning at eight o'clock. Uh, will, will that be helpful? Y'all want that? Yes. yes. You want volunteers? Y'all ask volunteers from the community, the uh, the, the uh, Baptist be Association. Because I still live by myself and I need all the help I can. The uh, Baptist Association will be here. The street department will be here at eight o'clock in the morning uh, for a work session. Uh, I got a question. What about those of us like me? I have to work during the days, and and sometimes I don't get home till five o'clock. Is there going to be 